Hi, I'd like to welcome you to Installer Institute's Vehicle Security and Ro Remote Start Installation video. My name is Jason Anderson. I'm director of the Installer Institute in Daytona Beach, Florida. In this third installment of Installer Institute's training videos, we're going to be discussing the proper installation techniques for installing security systems and remote starts. We're going to show you how to track down those difficult wires using your digital multimeters and some also some tech soft software, which is basically a description of the location and the color where you can find those wires. And we're also going to discuss how those always can't be trusted. So we're going to be going through all the steps required to make sure that this installation goes as quickly and as smoothly as possible. And as always, if you have any questions, you can log on to InstallerInstitute.com, look for my email, jason at InstallerInstitute.com, and I'll be happy to answer any questions you may have. digital multimeter to show you how I found the correct wires. Now. I go to the door trigger wire, and then I go to the door trigger switch, which is normally located on the door, and right now the door is open, and it reads zero volts. When I push the door closed, it goes to 12 volts. Opened, zero, push the door closed, 12. So if I was a thief, and I was breaking into this car, the meter, if the meter was my alarm, it would see 12 volts with the doors closed. The moment somebody opens the door, it goes to zero, which is commonly referred to as a negative trigger. So this negative will travel from that door trigger all the way to this wire, which will then be connected to the alarm under the negative door trigger wire. If you have any questions, you can log on to InstallerInstitute.com, look for my email address, Jason at InstallerInstitute.com, and email me any questions that you may have regarding this DVD video.